Often in life, we're taught to be mentally, physically, spiritually strong. But what happens when a person fails? What happens when they break? This picture, Broken, depicts just that. It's a movie that shows a woman so ambitious, and we can all relate to her as an audience because we understand her strengths. But it shows us in the end how we all are easily just as broken. So I'm here with Demetrius Charles, who is the writer and producer for this film. And I can't overemphasize how awesome this is. And you'll probably hear that a ton of times. But this movie was just so inspirational because in the end it showed this young woman collect all her pieces that were broken and how at the end she had happiness. So Demetrius Charles, what is your concept? How did you come out with this film? Funny. Um, I actually wrote this movie for a friend who is so talented but she will pick her movies based on its content okay. and because of her talent I wanted to write something really nice and sweet and no, nothing over the top right. and that's how I ended up writing the movie. Now you have a St. Lucian background and the movie has St. Lucian influence. Has that contributed to the film? Yes, a great deal because I wanted to, I wanted to combine both worlds because Living in St. Lucia and living in New York is like two different things, right. two different lifestyles. So that's, I, I decided to bring my upbringing to the place I migrated to and the reality of living in New York and not what everybody thinks. And you had a lot of stereotypes about the young lady who was the main character on how people may think she wants to get her papers and she'll sleep with whoever. Now, did you have those experiences or did you hear people who had those similar experiences? Because there's a lot of things that you could just listen and say, I could hear that and I've heard that before. Personally, I may not have had the experiences, but I knew of someone who went through 50% of what Lisa went through. And I incorporated that into the screenplay. And while she was watching, she was here in the movie, um, the screening tonight, and while she was watching it, she kept turning back and watching at me and laughing because she knew not only they shared the same name, but some of the same experiences there. So she knew it had something to do with her. Now, you started just a brief thing. You started writing poetry and actually has published work. Yes. How do you do that to ending up directing and writing film? Well, poetry is limited. I mean, it's not, we're now in a modern time where people want to see movies. So I had to migrate from poetry into writing movies. And so that's what I had to end up doing. That's why I started doing my plays in poetic format. Right. Now lastly, anything, expectations you have for this film? Because I know you have a lot of things down the road that you have to do. You have a couple of productions, but for this film right now, what is your expectation? I would like to, do, I, honestly, I would like it to be noticed and I would like it to be out there. Um, I'm not necessarily looking for financial stuff, but I'm looking for recognition in the fact that, um, that I'm a writer because that's what my dreams are, is to become a writer and I'm hoping somebody is going to see that and um, acknowledge it. So I'm hoping one day somebody's going to acknowledge me as a writer. I know I can be and I can be. And yeah. you are. Yeah. Now lastly, any encouraging words you want to give to young people who want to do the same thing but may have limited resources, no visa, no green card, in their native country, what would you say to them? Never give up. I didn't have um, the same, but I, I never give up. Right. I'm just not the type. Right. You have to understand that there are hurdles in life and it all depends on your strength, right. emotionally, physically. Uh, you could actually make it. You just have to learn to continue. Nothing is perfect in life. Right. You go, if you experience what I did today, you'll understand nothing is perfect but right. you could make things happen if you just continue right. on your journey now besides continue on the journey if you want any information regarding this young man who is very inspirational how can we contact you well i can be reached at deus 600.com uh, deus 600 um, at yahoo.com or you could just hit me up on facebook or demetriuspence.com um, there are several ways of meeting me. Okay. So I'm here in Harlem, New York for the film premiere Broken. Ginger T signing out. Pa, I'm done. Thank you, sweetie.